Good morning and welcome to our dawn service to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross so that free from sins we might live for righteousness by his wounds you have been healed. Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To you be glory and praise forever. Your steadfast love extends to the heavens and your faithfulness never ceases. Illuminate our hearts with your wisdom and strengthen our lives with your word, for you are the fountain of life. In your light we see true light. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. And a reading from Isaiah 55 verses 1 to 11. Isaiah 55 verses 1 to 11. Ho, oh, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come, buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk with money, without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread? and your labour for that which doesn't satisfy. Listen carefully to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me, listen so that you might live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you. Because of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake their way, and the unrighteous their thoughts. Let them return to the Lord, that he may have mercy on them, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts and your thoughts. For the rain and snow come down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth. Make it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes out of my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. For the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia! Christ has risen. He has risen indeed. Alleluia! 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 I think the birds are providing all the noise we need. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, Receive our prayer, for you alone are the Holy One, 
You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray that we may reign with the risen Christ in glory. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death to make all things new in him. Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour, glory and might, now and in all eternity. Amen. And with the joy of the resurrection in our hearts, we also acknowledge the difficulties of this life. Everyone should be warned. Give your life utterly to Christ and you will eventually suffer much more than you can now comprehend. But there is no way a man can communicate to daring young Christians the amount of suffering they will encounter in one lifetime. Again and again they have been cautioned in every way known, yet each time that sovereign hand of God has fallen on one of them and he or she has truly entered into the fellowship of Christ's sufferings, he is always surprised how hard, how unbearable is the cross. For better or worse, at the beginning, they did not have the good sense to run out of the door. These were young Christians who loved the Lord, who would not be stopped, not even by the cross. And a reading from Matthew. Matthew 28 verses 1 to 10. After the Sabbath, as the first day of the week was dawning, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven, came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. For fear of him, the guards shook and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has been raised, as he said. As he said, Come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has been raised from the dead. And indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you shall see him. This is my message for you. So they left the tomb quickly with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. Suddenly Jesus met them and said, Greetings! And they came to him, took hold of his feet and worshipped him. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers to go to Galilee. There they will see me. And let's attempt a song on this. I don't know if we compete with the birds. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Jesus is Lord of all the earth, firstborn of all creation. 
nation. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Spread the good news over all the earth. Jesus has died and is risen. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to his name. We have been crucified with Christ. Now we shall live forever. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks for the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to his name. Come, let us praise the living Christ. Joyfully sing to our Saviour. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Christ. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to God's name. Lord, at this time when so many people are suffering, fearful, anxious about the future, Lord, we just thank you for the hopeful message of the resurrection of your Son. Amen. The God of peace who has brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make us perfect in every good work to do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among us and remain with us always. Amen. With the risen life of Christ within you, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Have a wonderful Easter Sunday.